Let's go into our Wuji stance. Feet about shoulder width apart. Knees relaxed, feet flat on the floor. Bring your hips forward just a little bit, having the coccyx of the tailbone point towards the floor. Let your shoulders drop down and forward. Feel like the top of the head is being lifted upward, elongating the spine. Bring the chin down and in just a little bit. Breathe in and out through the nose. And as you breathe in, let the abdomen expand outward, pulling the breath all the way down. We then pause. And as we begin the exhalation, the abdomen moves towards the spine, pushing the breath up and out the nose. And then we pause again. And just for a moment, focus on that breath. Try to slow it down, make it deep, nice long inhalation and a long exhalation. Not to the point of straining, just trying to extend the breath, bring it further down into the body and then slowly let it work its way up through the torso. Begin to notice your feet on the ground. Every part of the foot making contact with the earth. Connecting all the way down to the center of the earth. Feel your body sinking. And then feel the earth rising up to support you. Connect with you become a part of you. Let's start with the spine enlivening series. And start to turn from the waist, make sure the knees don't move. Let the hands just kind of move from side to side. Just follow your hands with your head, not even looking over the shoulder at this point. Trying to feel the air move through the fingers. Close your eyes. Sense that energy field around you. Sense the resistance as your fingers move through that energy field, the Wei Chi. And then let your arms just drop. As the Chinese say, hang like ribbons of silk. And let the momentum of your body start to carry them into your abdomen in the front and the small of the back in the back. Again, turning from the waist, trying to stabilize Prevent the knees from moving. Look over the shoulder, get a little further around. 
feel each vertebra turning in place, starting all the way down the tailbone, working its way all the way up into the neck. Let's step out a little wider. And open up some of the meridians in the legs. Start with the kidney meridian, which starts basically around the ball of the foot. So as we turn away, we lift up onto the toe, both stimulating the bubbling spring, the kidney one point. Go ahead and go back to being flat-footed. Look over your shoulder. See if you can get a little more movement out of the spine. And now as you turn to the side, the same side, you're gonna lift the toes off the ground towards the body. And come back to being flat-footed. And slow it down, go back to water waves. From the yang to the yin. Good, and slow it down to you stop. Bring your hands behind you, give your kidneys a rub. Then with the back of your hands, making a light fist, tap up and down either side of the spine, only as far as you can comfortably reach. You can alternate or you can do both together, doesn't really matter. Now turning the fists so that your palms are facing inward, loose fist, Go right around the buttocks from either side of the spine, almost to the hip bone, but do not hit on the bone. Good, couple more. Good. 
Now with an open palm, start at the kidneys, Breathing out, work your way all the way down the outside of the leg. Come around the toes. Breathing in, come up to the inside of the leg to the leg crease, or we call the qua. And with a loose fist, up and down the qua. Good, go back to having a palm, come up a bit and then come into the belly button. Then go back out, the hips, the kidney, and this time we're gonna go all the way around. So again, breathing out, all the way down the outside, breathing up the inside, up the quad to the belly button, round back to the kidneys, down, around. One more time. Good. Hands on your hips. And just rotate the hips from the hips. So try to do it in such a way that the head doesn't move. Really want to push the hips out to the side, back, and then to the opposite side, and then turn that into a nice big circle. And reverse. Slow it down. And now just try to imagine you're using just the tip of your coccyx to draw little circles. And reverse the direction now. Good. Bring your hands up, elbows bent, spinal cord breathing. So again, we're gonna be using our hips. We're gonna push the hips back or push your butt back. While the chest goes to the sky, you're looking up to the ceiling, then pull the elbows down, feel the shoulder blades come down together. Breathe out as the palms face you. Forearms and elbows come together. Tuck the chin into the chest. Curve the back. Try not to bend from the waist. Push the hips forward. We pause, get a little extra stretch. Then breathe in and start over. As with all of the postures, stay within your comfort range. You should never feel discomfort, certainly never and ever any pain. If you do, it just means you need to back off. You need to either limit the range of motion or perhaps not even do any motion. And if that's the case, visualize yourself doing the motion. Close your eyes and imagine you're going through the posture. And actually be surprised how effective that is. Slow it down with the breath. One more time. 
really make it count. Nice and slow. Pause. Get that extra stretch. Breathe out. Pause. Get that extra stretch. And come down. Bringing down the heavens. Turn the palms up. Breathing in. Gathering the energy to feel the weight increasing in your palms as you lift them up over your head. We pause. And then we breathe out as we push that energy down through the bi Hui points, the top of the head, down the torso, down the legs into the ground. Twice more. Breathe in. Pause. Breathe out. Last one. Good. Go to a comfortable stance, probably about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit more, or actually maybe a little less. Whatever you feel stable, so that you can switch your weight from foot to foot. So we're going to start, this is called stepping over the stone. We're going to lift our knee up. We're going to step over the stone and notice I open the quad. And then I close, <laughs> close the glass. Not quite that dramatically. So we breathe in, open, breathe out, close. And then alternate side to side. As you put your feet down, feel the vibration of making contact with the earth. Feel those vibrations going through the soles of your feet, up your legs, into your spine, all the way up into the skull. Stimulating the bones and the bone marrow. One more time each side. Good. Let's continue with that idea of vibrations. Go to a bit of a wider stance. Put your hands facing the earth. Lean over to the right. Bring that left foot up a bit and then just drop down on it and feel that vibration coming up the left leg. Then we switch and drop down. Buddha stomp. Do it hard enough that you can feel the vibrations, not so hard that it's painful or just feeling any kind of discomfort. One more time each side. Good. I'm gonna do a variation of the horse riding stance. Put your hands on your thighs, go to a wide stance. Feet facing forward, so we're not really truly doing the horse riding stance. But the idea here is you still want to keep your back nice and straight and just sink down and back up. The knees follow the feet, so the feet actually are turned out a little bit, sorry. The knees never go forward, especially no, you should always be able to see your toes. You want to drop back for a little extra weight into the heels as you go up and down. And each time you go down, see if you can go down a little bit lower, maybe opening up the space between the feet a little bit more. Again, staying within the comfort range. Try not to lean forward. Some of you are doing this. What you want is imagine the head is following up and down a post here.
Good. Couple more. And come on up. Shake the legs out a little bit. Let's do a couple of movements for the five elements. The first one we're gonna do for the metal elements is Buddha holds up the earth. We're breathing in as we lift the energy up through the torso, up over the head, looking forward the entire time, push upward. Pause and breathing out as we rotate the hands so the palms up all the way down, allowing the energy to go all the way down your legs into the ground. And then we start again, breathe in, pause, breathe out, pause. One more time. Good. Metal element corresponds to the lungs. So take your hands, hold them away from the chest and imagine energy, white light coming out of your palms, filling the lungs with white light. Just take a moment to breathe that in. We're going to do the healing sounds, the lung sound. There are two sounds for each. There's a vocal and a subvocal. So the vocal we want to hear, and it's sometimes a little different sound than the subvocal, which you should be saying very quietly to yourself. The vocal is more for physical issues. Subvocal is more for psychological issues, but they both kind of do the same thing. And when you're making the sound, try to feel that organ vibrating with the vibrations of the sound. So for the lungs, the sound, the vocal sound is like a bunch of Z's. So we're just gonna hold our hands in front of the lungs, gonna breathe in, and then as you breathe out, Breathe in, feel the vibrations in your lungs. Picture the white light filling your lungs. Again, breathe out. One last time. Good, now we're gonna do the subvocal sound, which is like a bunch of S's. We breathe in and I'll make it loud enough so you can hear it. Like steam escaping a pot. One more time. Good, and just hold that. Feel the white light going into the lungs. Feel your sadness clearing. Change sadness into compassion.
Good. Next element we're going to go into the water element, which is for the kidneys. We're going to do the fountain, which follows the kidney meridian. So we're going to drop down, back of the hands come down, and then you lift that energy up through the bottom of your feet, up through the inside of your legs, up the torso to the chest. Pause, breathe out as you send whatever energy no longer serves you down into the earth to be recycled. Then we pause again, gathering fresh energy, bringing it up the legs, torso, chest, and then out. One more time. Good, bring your hands around your kidneys. You can either leave them half an inch or an inch away from the kidneys, or you can place them right on the kidneys. Really doesn't matter. Imagine dark blue or black light. I like dark blue personally. Coming out of your palms, filling the kidneys with that dark blue light. And the healing sound for the kidneys, the vocal sound is tree, emphasizing the E's. The subvocal sound is choo. We'll get to that in a moment. So we're going to breathe in and do tree three times. Breathe in, breathe out three times. Ready to so breathe in. Tree. Feel those kidneys vibrating with the frequency of that sound. Again, breathe in. Tree. One more time. Tree. Good. Now this time, the subvocal sound. Quietly to yourself. I'll do it loud enough so you can hear me. The sound is choo, choo. choo. One more time. Choo. Hold your hands there. Picture the kidneys filling with that blue light. Good. Drop your hands down. Let's move on to the wood element. So for the wood element, we're going to do repulse the monkey. So put your right hand out in front of you, palm up. Left hand comes around, follow it with your eyes as you scoop up the energy. And then you're gonna bring it into the head. And then you're gonna pause and you're gonna breathe out. You're gonna push the energy that no longer serves you down the arm and out the fingertips. And the left hand turns palm up and the right hand scoops backward. Brings it into the head. And down and out the arm. So we breathe in. Pause. Breathe out.
Make the movement very slow and purposeful. Bringing fresh energy into the head, clearing the head of that monkey-like chatter and sending that energy that no longer serves us down and out the fingertips. One more time, each side. Good, bring your hands over to your right side. Again, you can hold them right on the liver or slightly out from the liver. The vocal sound is Shoo. But for now, just close your eyes. Imagine green light coming out of your palms. Green light infusing the kidneys with that wonderful healing energy. Just try to picture the kidneys filling with this vibrant green light. Good, so we're gonna do the vocal sound three times. Again, it's shoo, emphasizing the use. So we breathe in. Shoo. Feel those kidneys vibrating with the frequency of the sound again. Last time. And we'll do the sub vocal sound quietly to yourself like you're shushing somebody. Move on to the fire element. Let's do Fair Maiden Works the Shuttle. So go ahead and get an energy ball between your palms. Your left hand is on top, your left arm is on top. If you want, you can just kind of move it a little bit till you kind of feel that resistance, you feel that energy ball. Good. Let's just stabilize. Slightly wider stance. So now we're gonna to turn to the right. Your right arm comes up bent over your head as the left pushes through. Then we grab that chi ball, we roll it over in the center and then the left hand comes up and the right hand pushes through.
Breathe in as you push out. Pause. Breathe out as you come back to center. Pause. And breathe in again. One more time each side. Good. Now the fire element is connected to the heart. So go ahead and bring your hands, cross them over one palm over the other. Again, just a bit out from the center of your chest. Right out from the heart. The healing sound is ha, ah, like you're relaxing, kind of works with the heart, kind of makes a lot of sense. And of course, what also makes a lot of sense is the color is red. So first, let's just put our hands up and imagine red light coming out of your palms, filling your heart with that red light. Just picture that light going into the chest, dispelling any darkness, any stagnation, any blockages. Converting sorrow into joy. Good, so here the vocal and subvocal sounds are the same. So we just do the subvocal sound quietly to ourselves where the vocal sound we're doing loud enough so somebody next to you might be able to hear or louder. So we breathe in, the sound is ha, ha. Once more vocally. Uh, now sub vocally three times. Uh, uh, last one. Uh, And leave your hands there again, picturing that red light filling the heart. I realize I forgot with the wood, the wood we're converting anger into kindness, kind, kindness. The next one we're going to do is for the earth element. 
that's associated with the spleen. We're going to convert anxiety into empathy. So the movement we're going to do is two-handed pebble in the pond. So we drop our hands down. Try to feel the surface of the water here. As our hips go back, our hands float forward. Then they turn palms up, grabbing that energy. As our hips come forward, our hands come to the body, bringing that energy with it. Breathe out as you go forward. Breathe in as it comes into you. Make sure you get the pauses to transition from one to the other. Taking energy that no longer serves us, sending it out into the universe, into the earth to be recycled, gathering fresh energy and bringing it back into the body. See if you can allow it just to float using as few muscles as possible, as little effort as possible. Just let the breath cause the movement. Feel the hands as they push along the surface of the water, creating those little ripples and then gathering the energy from those ripples and bringing them into your body. One more time around. Good, bring your hands one palm of the over to your left side. This is for the spleen and stomach. The color is yellow. So picture yellow light coming out of the palms infusing the spleen with that yellow light. Try to feel the healing vibrations of the yellow color, filling, saturating the spleen. And the subvocal and vocal sounds are the same. They're who like an owl. So again, we're going to do three of the vocal and then three of the subvocal. So breathe in. Who. Ooh. Number 
try and feel the spleen vibrating with that frequency of sound. Ooh. Now, sub vocal, quietly to yourself. Last one. Good. Just picture that yellow light again going into the spleen. Feel the vibrations from the healing sound. And to kind of balance everything out, then we add one more. We do the triple warmer, the Sanyao Meridian. It balances out the energies of the three Dantians. So let's first just do bringing down the heavens. Three times, breathe in, pause, breathe out as you push that energy down through the top of your head, past the upper Dantian, past the chest, the middle Dantian, past the abdomen, the lower Dantian. We gather fresh energy again, feel that in your weight, in your palms, pause, and pushing it down through the body way point, down the neck, the torso, the legs, and into the ground to be recycled. One more time. Actually, we're going to do this a few more times. Feels good. One more time. Good. Put fingers of your left hand up the yin tongue point, the third eye point between the eyebrows. Take your right hand and put a palm just below the belly button. And the healing sounds for the triple warmer is he. So we're going to breathe in vocally. He. He. One more time. He. Now sub vocally three times. Also he. He. Last one.
Good. Bringing down the heavens just once. Let the hands drop, bring your feet together. Come up onto the heels as you breathe in. As you breathe out, you're gonna drop down into heels and just let the whole body vibrate. You breathe in. Twice more. Good, bring down the heavens again. Finished with one palm over the other, either holding at the wrist or intertwining the webbing of the thumbs. Picture white light or gold light going into that lower dantian, into that abdomen, spiraling down your legs, up your torso. Let your body just relax and rock and sway. Let the energy move you like bamboo in the wind. Allow that energy to move throughout your physical body. Dispelling darkness, energetic stagnation, energetic blockages. Dispelling negative thoughts and emotions. Feel every part of your body filled with this warm, loving light and allow it to expand outward beyond your physical body. Encasing you in a protective, energetic cocoon. And as you float weightlessly inside this cocoon, begin to notice what it feels like to be safe. To be healthy. Take a deep breath, gather those energies, those feelings, and take them with you for the rest of the day. Thank you.